fact. All right. So we're starting and sitting. We're sitting up tall. Remember that string pulling us up. And let's start with our marches. We're really going to march our feet out. Really make our feet loud. Warm up our feet. And let's bring it in and out. In and out. In and out. One more time. In and out. And sit up tall. Let's do our shoulder rolls. Rolling back, really sitting tall. Let's get our elbows involved. Let's make our hands big as we're doing this. Let's do two more. All right, so we're sitting up tall. Let's do our big push out with big hands. Spread those fingers. Reach it down. Pull it up. Look up at the ceiling. Give those fingers a wiggle. And bring it out and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Again, big push. Reach it down. Pull it up. Look up at the ceiling. Let's wake up those fingers. Wiggle your fingers. And bring it out and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Again, big push. Reach it down. Pull it up. Now let's wake up our wrists. Up and down. And bring it out. Spread those fingers. And let's flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Again, big push. Reach it down. Pull it up. Let's wake up those wrists again. Getting them moving. And bring it out. And flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big finish. Let's reach our arm up. Stretch out that elbow. Give me a big hand. And then we're going to swoop. So we're going to reach across. Open up at that hip. Palm up to the ceiling, sitting tall, and let's flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Big finish. Big reach. Big hand. Let's swoop, stretch, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stomp it in. Big finish. Big reach. Big hand. Let's swoop. Stretch. Palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Big finish, big reach, big hand, swoop, stretch, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stomp it in. Big finish. One more on each side. Big reach, big hand, swoop, stretch, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stomp it in. Big finish. Big reach, big hand, swoop, stretch, palm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
10, stomp it in. Big finish. Let's get standing up. So we're gonna do our forward step. You can do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, or alternate. Make sure you're standing tall. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, now we're going to the side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch those arms. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, now let's push those arms out, spread those fingers apart. We're going backwards. Let's go. One, and in, two, in, three, in, four, in, five, in, six, in, seven, in, eight, in, nine, in, give me one more on this side, ten, in. All right, check one their posture. Make sure we're standing tall. Push those arms out again. Give me really strong elbows. Spread your fingers. Let's go. One. In. Two. In. Three. In. Reach it back. Four. In. Five. In. Six. In, seven, in, eight, in, nine, in, ten, in. All right, so next is our forward rock. So let's do some big weight shifts. Getting that toe up, the heel up. Standing tall, checking with your posture. And then let's add in those arms with a big hand, big elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. All right, let's switch sides. So again, rocking forward and back, getting a big weight shift, toe up, heel up, standing tall as we're doing this. Then let's add in those arms, big reaches. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
All right, let's bring it to center. Standing tall, stretch those arms out, palms up to the ceiling, spread those fingers apart. We're twisting backwards. Let's go. One, big finish, big reach. Two, big finish, big reach. Three, big finish, big reach. Four, big finish, big reach. Five, big finish, big reach. Six, big finish, big reach. Seven, big finish, big reach. Eight, big finish, big reach. Nine, big finish, big reach. 10, big finish, big reach. 11, big finish, big reach. 12, big finish, big reach. 13, big finish, big reach. 14, big finish, big reach. Give me one more, 15, big finish. All right, standing tall, stretch those arms out again. We're going the other way. So one, big finish, big reach. Two, big finish, big reach. Three, big finish, big reach. Four, big finish, big reach. Five, big finish, big reach. Six, Big finish, big reach. Seven. Big finish, big reach. Eight. Big finish, big reach. Nine. Big finish, big reach. Ten. Big finish, big reach. Eleven. Big finish, big reach. Twelve. Big finish. Big reach, 13. Big finish, big reach, 14. Big finish, big reach, 15. Big finish, woo! All right, let's grab our chair. We have some stand-ups and sit-downs to do. So just like every class, I do odds, you all do evens. We're alternating going to 100. Let's really focus on big arms today. So as you're standing, reaching, giving me big elbows, big hands, really standing tall. All right, let's go. One. Three. Five. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, I like how big these arms are looking today. 45. 
47. 49. 51. 53. 55. 57. 59. 61. 63. 65. 67. 69. 71. 73. 75. Give me big hands. Spread those fingers apart. 77. 79. 81. 83. 85. 87. 89. 91. 93. 95. 97. 99. Woo! All right, grab a sip of water and then we'll talk stations. So today is hand weight day. If you don't have hand weights, can of soup, you know, jug of milk, water bottles, whatever gives you a little resistance. So first station, we're gonna do a bicep curl, thumb up, and then we're gonna bring it out to the side with palms up, curl out to the side. Bring it in, curl this way with thumb up, out to the side, curl out. So not only are we working on the bicep curl, we're also working on our forearm here. So really trying to get palms up, thumb up. Palms up, thumb up. Next, we're gonna do our reach, and then rather than bringing our arms out back here, we're gonna do a shoulder blade squeeze, standing tall. So reach as you squat, squeeze as you stand tall. Next, we'll put one weight down and we're gonna reach it, pull it in, punch it up, in, drop it down. So a lot of times you talk about this, like put away the dishes, I'm segmenting it a little bit more today. I want us to really come up here, stand tall, punch up, bring in, reach it down. And as you're reaching, try to keep your back flat. Try not to round. All right, then we're gonna grab our weight again. We've done this one before. I like this because it works on coordination. So we're gonna do the arms are single, single, double. Punches, single, single, double. Okay, and then if we want some added challenge, our feet are heel, toe, heel. Heel, or heel, toe, heel. So our foot is basically opposite. Okay, so you can just stick here and do single, single, double with the weight. And then if you want to add a challenge, 
we're gonna add in the arm, okay? Then put the weights down. Standing tall, we're gonna do a big reach. I want us to really focus on big hands today. And we're gonna open, reaching back, bring it in, big clap. Then reach back, big clap. And then we're gonna do plank with, we've done plank with an arm reach, but we're gonna spice it up today. So we're gonna be plank here or on the wall. Rather than reaching forward, we're gonna reach out to the side. You can do this at the wall, a countertop, the chair, the floor. If you have shoulder um, issues, drop down onto elbows and do it there. That'll give you some more support. And then the last of our stations, and I always have to think about this, is our arm circles, but in opposite direction. So one arm is gonna be going forward while the other arm is going backwards. So trying to keep that coordinated. All right, so those are stations for today. Let's grab our weights. So as we're doing the bicep curl, get into a little bit of a squat just so we're keeping our legs engaged. And let's start now. So we're gonna do a bicep curl, thumb up, bring it out, palm up, bicep curl out to the side. Bring it in, thumb up, curl, out to the side with palm up, bring it in, thumb up, palm up, and curl. Really trying to get that full motion at the forearm. We're also working on different parts of your bicep muscle this way. So when you're forward, it's thumb up. When you're out to the side, it's palm up. Let's do one more of each. All right. So next, we're doing our squat with our shoulder blade squeeze. So as we squat it down, arms are coming forward, and then you're standing tall, squeeze, and then back down, and squeeze, reach it back, squeeze, stand in a tall, squeeze, reach it out. Squeeze, reach it out. Squeeze, stand tall, reach it out. Squeeze, 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 Reach it out, give me one more. Squeeze, reach it out. All right, let's put one weight down. So next is our um, put away the dish that we do, but we're pausing, really focusing on our posture today. So we're gonna reach it down, pull it up, punch it up, bring it in, as you're coming, back flat. Pull it in, up, in. Reach it down with a back flat. Pull it in, up, in. Reach it down with a back flat. Squat down. Pull it in, up, in. Reach it down. Pull it in, up in, reach it down, in, up, in, reach it down, in, up, in, 
reach it down. We're doing one more. Pull it in, up, in, reach it down. All right, let's grab our second weight. Next, we're doing our punch, our single, single, double punch. So remember that's single, single, double. And the feet are single, uh, whoa, single, single, double. Okay? This is gonna be a coordination fun show. Let's go. Single, single, double. 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 Let's do one more. Single, single, double. All right, let's put our weights down. Next is our open book. Today we're focusing on really big hands and as you're coming in, giving me a big clap. So we're standing tall, reach our arms out big, big hands, let's go. So we're reaching back, opening up, Bring it back in with a big clap. Reach back behind you. Bring it in with a clap. Reach back, open up through those shoulders. And clap. Reach it back, open. Clap. Reach it back and open. Clap. Reach back, open. Clap. Pivot through your hip, pivot through your leg. Bring it back and clap. Reach it back, big hands. Clap. Reach it back, look behind you. And in. Reach it back. And in. Give me a big clap. Bring it back in. Reach it back. And back in. One more. And back in. All right, so next we're doing our plank. You can do it at the wall, the counter, a chair, the floor. Difference today is we're gonna get that plank and we're gonna bring our arms out to the side. All right, so let's get into position. And we're starting. So bringing that arm out to the side If you can, trying to do this with a thumb up. If your shoulders are bugging you, you can always drop down onto elbows. We got 10 more seconds. Give me one more. All right. And let's just drop it back. Stretch out those shoulders a little bit. Your low back, hamstrings, in a modified child's pose. Let's do two more breaths here. And then let's roll it up. Okay, one more station to go. So this is arm circles. So one arm is going forward. 
the other is going backwards. So I find it's easier if you start with one arm and then add in the second. As you're doing this, you're working on standing tall. Keep those elbows big. Keep your core engaged. If you feel like you're losing it, stop, restart. This is a great coordination exercise. We have 15 seconds left. You got this. Woo! And drop it down. Let's grab a sip of water. Woo! You made it through the round of stations. All right, let's grab our weights. So we're gonna do it all over again. It was so much fun the first time. All right, so our first station, just a refresher, is our bicep curl. You do thumb up as you curl, bring it down, flip, and then palm up out to the side. Flip it. All right, so we're gonna get started now. So thumb up, flip, Palm up, flip, thumb up, flip, palm up, and flip, thumb up, flip, and this is palm up, flip, thumb up, flip, palm up, and flip, thumb up, and flip, palm up, and flip. Thumb up, flip, palm up, flip. Thumb up, and flip, palm up, and flip. Thumb up, and flip, palm up. One more in each of these directions. Thumb up and flip, palm up. All right, so next we're doing our squat with our shoulder blade squeeze. So we're gonna reach it out and then as we're standing, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Let's get started now. So squat it down and reach. Squeeze as you stand. Squat it down. Squeeze as you stand, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. Squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. We have 15 seconds left. Squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. Give me two more. Squat, squeeze. One more. Squat, squeeze. Woo! All right, drop down one weight. If you did one diagonal, so like reaching down to the left, up to the right, we're switching diagonals this time. So this is the one where we're back flat, reach to our foot, pull it in, up, in, bring it back down. 
All right, and we're starting now. So back flat, pull it in, reach it up, bring it in, squat it down, pull it in, up, in, reach it back down, pull it in, up, in, reach it back down, pull it in, up, in, reach it down, pull it in, up, in, reach it down, pull it in, up, in, reach it back down, pull it in, up, in, reach it down, pull it in, up, in, reach it down, give me one more, pull it in, up, in, bring it back down. All right, grab our second weight. Next is single, single, double. And if you did the foot, let's switch feet. So this is single, single, double for the arms. And then the foot is heel, toe, heel. Okay? All right, let's go. Single, single, double. 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 Give me 15 more seconds. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. One more, single, single, double. All right, drop the weight. Woo, it's a good shoulder workout today. All right, next is open the book. So we're reaching back. I really want a big hand today. And then also big clap as you come back in. So have a target behind you so that you're looking to each time you're turning back. Let's reach those arms out, give me big hands. Let's go. So reach it back, back in with a big clap. Reach back, in. Back, in, back, in, back, in, back, in. Reach it back, in, back, in. Reach it back, in, back, in. Reach it back, in. Back, keep those hands big, in. Reach it back, in. Reach it back, in. Reach it back, in. Back, in. Back, in. Back, in. All right, shake it out. All right, next we have our plank. So we're gonna do our plank with our side arm reach. Let's get into position. And let's start.
Give me one more on each side. All right, let's bring it in to a modified child's pose. Stretch out those shoulders, stick your tush back, get a good hamstring stretch, low back stretch. Let's do two more big breaths here. And then let's roll it up. All right, one more station to go. All right, so this is our arm circles. I saw that, yes, one more station to go. All right, so if your right arm was going forward, I'm gonna challenge you this time, then now your right arm is gonna be your backwards. So we're gonna flip it. All right, so who's ready to go? We got one more station. Woo, let's do it. So a lot of times it's easier if you just start with one arm and then have your second arm jump in. If for shoulder reasons this causes you pain, do it down here. I just want it to stay big. I want your core engaged. I want you standing tall. And then thinking about keeping your arms moving in those opposite directions. Give me 20 more seconds. Woo! All right. Woo, let's shake out those shoulders. I don't know about you, but my shoulders are burning today. This was a good shoulder workout. All right, let's grab water. Woo. All right, so next is walking and balance. So what I'd like us to do is we're gonna do two minutes of a grapevine step. So that step behind, step, either tap, you can do a knee, step behind, step, knee or tap. All right, and then the arms, you can do big arms as you're doing this or add in a clap, your choice. We just wanna be moving big. All right, so we're starting now, we got two minutes. So step behind, step, step behind, step, either tap or lift, step behind. If for balance reasons, you need a chair or the wall, you can do that here. Step behind, step, tap, or lift. Step behind, step, and lift. So just, you, your steps are gonna be a little bit smaller, but thinking about making it big then with your posture. So we've done one minute. Now, if we really want to get fancy today with our coordination, we could do this with a turn. So it's going to be step behind, step front. Now we're doing it with a turn. We're getting really fancy.
10 more seconds. All right, and back to center. Woo, good job, everyone. All right, next, we're gonna work on some heel to toe walking. If you um, need a wall or a countertop, that is okay. Or if you wanna keep it tighter, use your chair. So we're gonna first start with um, hands on our hips and we're gonna work on going five steps forward, five steps going backwards. And trying to get your heel and your toe as close to touching as you can. It's great for us to practice keeping our posture tall with our base of support, support smaller. So a lot of times when our, our feet get really close together, we get a lot more hunched over. So really purposeful and standing tall as you're doing that. Give me 10 more seconds. All right, let's come to our chair. And next we're gonna work on just standing on one leg. So as you're getting ready to stand on one leg, thinking about really engaging your standing leg, engaging your tush on that standing leg, standing tall. You know, checking in with the foot and ankle on that standing leg. Are you getting a little wobble? That is okay. Those are the small corrections your body needs to do to keep you standing tall. Let's switch legs. So engaging that tush, standing tall. And let's switch back. So I want you to check in with your posture. Make sure that you're standing tall. Check in with your shoulders. Are they forward? Are they more back? And let's switch again. and switch back one more time and then we'll do our cool down. You all worked hard today. So on this last set, just checking in with our posture, standing tall, keeping our core engaged. All right, let's bring that foot down and then let's come into our lunge. So forward lunge, Opening up at our back hip, trying to get that heel down, and then standing tall. If you want to stretch out that hip even more, just you're going to bend that forward knee a little bit more. And 
and then let's bring it in, drop our hips back, bring our toe up towards the ceiling, get a nice stretch in the back part of our leg. And let's drop it down, roll it up, and then let's switch sides. So get into that lunge, up tall, leaning forward, and then trying to get that heel back towards the, um, to the ground. And then let's bring it in, drop our hips back, toe up towards the ceiling. And drop it down, let's roll it up. Let's stretch out our quad muscle. So grab it onto the wall or chair or you can do this in sitting. So we're grabbing onto our ankle and stretching the front part of our quad muscle. And if you're doing this in sitting, I'll show you. So you're just gonna sit, tuck your toe, and then roll your pelvis under, which then will give a nice stretch to that quad muscle. But sitting up tall. Okay, let's switch sides. So if you're standing, you're just switching sides, grabbing on to your ankle. If you're in sitting, you're gonna tuck that toe and then bring that knee back and then roll your pelvis a little bit until you're feeling a good stretch in the front part of your quad muscle. Good, and then let's all get sitting down. Let's bring our foot up and across, opening up our hip, and then sitting tall, you can lean forward. Get a nice stretch in your hip. And then you can also add in, if you'd like, an ankle circle, really focusing on stretching in all different ankle motions. And then go the opposite way. And then let's switch. So drop that leg down, bring it up, grow tall through your spine, and then you can lean forward to open up your hip even more. And then if you want, add in an ankle circle, really working on moving your ankle in all different quadrants. And then let's bring it down. All right, and we're sitting up nice and tall. Let's do our deep breathing to finish. So we're gonna breathe in for four, and then out for four. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out breathe in and out let's do two more breathe in and out one more breathe in and out 
All right, nice job, everyone. Woo!